Okay, YouTube, I wanted to do a quick tip here, although first I'm going to have to explain. Now, I bought this controller offline. It's a Power A tournament controller. It's a, it's a pretty good controller. I like it. Uh, it has very good reviews on it. Uh, but like I said, this is not a a uh, unboxing or anything like that. Uh, but anyhow, I had a problem when I went to install this controller onto my computer. It wouldn't install. Well, it wouldn't pick up the drivers for it. So I searched online and looking for the drivers for it, and there were no drivers for it. Uh, so it took me a while to actually figure out, you know, how to how how to fix this problem. And oh, by the way, this is an Alienware laptop. Okay, and I had that problem on here. So in order to figure it out, I pretty much had to install the original Xbox drivers on there for you know Xbox controller drivers and when I did that bada bing bada bang it worked so that's basically what you gotta do this also goes for this uh, controller also will work on Mac on some of the MagCalf controllers I think that's what they're called or probably any other uh, third party Xbox controller anyways let's go ahead and go to the screen capturing part of this video Okay, the first thing that you need to do, you need to go ahead and download the Microsoft Xbox driver. Okay, and to do that, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and open up uh, whatever web browser that you use. I like to use Google Chrome, so we're going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome. Okay, once you do that, you go ahead and you can either type it in the address bar or you can go to... Uh, you know, google.com and do use google as your search and type in xbox 360 controller driver and then normally the first link is where you want to go which will take you to the microsoft website and you'll see the download link right here for the driver you just go ahead and download that and then once you download that you can go ahead and install it okay once you've installed it all you need to do now is go ahead and plug your controller in from there it's going to try to install the drivers let it try and it's going to fail and this is what you do and then what you need to do you need to go to start go to run I'm sorry uh, go to your search here and type this in uh, this right here will pretty much bring up your, the device manager here now, there's also several other ways that you can get into the device manager you go to start right click on uh, computer go to manage and then once you know this screen pops up you're going to go to device manager there's another way there's also another way you can do it by going on control panel going on to ca a category view and then look for device manager on here which is uh, da, 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 da. right there it is uh, and then uh, that's another way there's several different ways that you can get to your device manager but anyhow while you're here in your device manager what you want to get, do is go to okay once you're in here you're going to go where it has your controller uh, it, it should have the name on there of what your controller is whether it is Madcap or tournament um, uh, Pyrade whatever you, the name of your controller is now once you, once you do that you're going to click on this update driver software and then you want to click on browse my computer for drivers and then you don't mess with that you want to uh, go to let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer once you click on that now this next section right here is going to be a little bit more different than what you're going to see but don't worry I'll tell you what to what to do you want to go ahead and select Microsoft common controller for window class that's what you want to look for and click on that and then hit next okay after you hit the next it's you're going to get a pop-up saying that it could potentially harm your computer blah 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 just just do it it works it's not going to hurt your computer the reason why is because that's technically not the driver that goes to that controller but it works uh, it works fine I've been doing it using it for a while now works perfectly so that's basically how you fix that okay hopefully uh, this uh, solves your problem if you're having the same problem I did if not I don't know what could be wrong with your computer you might have some kind of virus or something I don't know unless I'm actually sitting in front of your computer I wouldn't know what's wrong with it anyways I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial comment
your thumbs up and subscribe.